I start from the beginning. Um, today, I'd like to introduce you to species of mammals you can see on King George Island on the shore. So, before we went, before we go to uh, mammals, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, right now, I am working at Artstowski Polish Antarctic Station on King George Island uh, on the uh, South Shetland near Antarctica. It's not the mainland of Antarctica. It's uh, uh, it's, a, uh, <laughs> it's a part of Antarctica belongs to the continent, but it's not the mainland. Um, I am uh, the monitoring specialist, so it means mainly collecting data from the field, collecting data about uh, living creatures, like flying birds, penguins, pinnipeds, it means seals, uh, and everything, everyone who is living on the King George Island. So, uh, who is this? Pinnipeds. Uh, the name comes from Latin. Um, Pina means fin, and pes, pedis means foot. Commonly known as seals. Uh, the name is because uh, these animals walk on their feet. It's the of the two terms. On our island, we have only five species who is uh, regular occurred and who we can see regular around the station or around the ASPA. 128 is the specially Antarctic specially protected area. Pinnipeds are mostly marine mammal, so it means they live in the ocean, they feed them, they spend most of their time in the water, but they use the land for some special things, like howling out, it means uh, the time when pinnipeds when seals uh, go out from the water and to rest uh, on the shore. It has uh, special things like uh, avoid parasites or to make some uh, social bonds between individuals. And the next, next really important things for the mammals is breeding. Some of them breed in huge colonies, some of them breeding in small colonies, and some of them, like these guys on these pictures, make harems. I will tell you about this in the next slide. The next one, really important thing, I think, is time when seals changing their four family, which you can see on the island. Uh, it's from genera Arctocephalus. This other, oh, it's a family Otaride, from Latin, uh, means about the told something about the ears. This one, uh, this one, I talk about uh, two different families of events. About the uh, is the uh, red seals, and family of the true seals, you're black seals. From 
first family, Otal de we have one species. And from the second one, family, Fokida, we have four species on our island. Difference number one, the most important difference, is skeleton. Uh, Irred seals, Otarida, could walk on their flippers, could even run on their slippers. Uh, but Fotida, uh, earless seals, can only crawl on their bellies. They couldn't run on their flippers. They are much slower than Otarida on the shore. Difference number two is ears. Is that reason from English uh, as well as Polish uh, names cons. Irid seal have visible ears. You can see uh, under this arrow. And earless seals for today haven't. They don't have visible part of outside ears. It's just a small point visible in really young seals. On juvenile one, it's really hard to find an adult one because of any scars, because of skin folds, and things like this. The first one species I would like to talk to you, it's Antarctic fur seal. It's, of course, Otaride. You can distinguish by these visible outside ears. They don't breeding on our island. They just howl out on the shore. They start to appear about January. And their number is really big. One time we reach more than 3,000 individuals on the all ASPA. Means Antarctic Special Protected Area. Short info. Uh, they they are known to fish to, to feed on the uh, Antarctic krill, but they tiff doesn't look like they eat on krill. They also prey on fish on the cephalopods, in squids, but their diet is really the diet really varies um, between the season and between the locality when they hunting. They make in big groups on the shore just after seven days uh, after parturition. So females still take care of their pups and they have another zygota, I suppose you know that word, inside their womb. Pups are weaned uh, about five, uh, four months old. It means that uh, pups start start to be immature, start, start to be without parents about four months of age, four months old. The US dive record for Antarctic fur seal for lactating females is uh, 181 meters. below the surface. And it's really interesting for these animals that about 1% of population have honey blonde fur, not gray, 
as you can see on the uh, on, on the picture here we have school of Antarctic full fur seal you can see let me show you Ooh, you can see this really big canines and this quite big molars of this animal and that's the way honey blonde fur look like of course it changes it changes in uh, during the lifetime but they are very, really impressive when you see them at first time the next one leopard seal belongs to other family to Fotida, to earless seals this one a really long guy it reach about four meters long it is highly ice pack dependent it means that they occurred especially uh, in place where the huge part of the ice is drifting on the on the sea they fit mostly on penguins. I suppose you can hear something about. But not only on the penguins. Uh, they also hunt for uh, juvenile seals, for juveniles, Antarctic fur, fur seals, for Mirunga leonina. You will learn about this one. It's really huge mammals so they died also varied during the season and during the area because of occurrence of special kind of research uh, that's the really interesting thing about their mating that it's probably under the water but has never been observed so if you want to know something more about leopard seal, maybe in the future you can study them. Pups are winged about four weeks old. It's really common in the in seals like uh, Fotida seals. They let their pups really early and the deepest dive of leopard seal is about 300 meters that's the way uh, their teeth look like they also have really big canines and complicated molars also really really big so it's adaptation for hunting for bigger animal than small fish the next one species you can find on Kildren Island is Weddell seal Weddell seal are also pretty big seals and probably during the winter they are the fattest seals on the island they have during the winter really tiny head and really huge rest of the body during the winter 
they make breathing holes uh, in the eyes and defend them. So they have territorialism. They have own territories. They defend also territories. And breeding holes, they are used to breeding uh, during the time when they hunt under the water. Their diet also really varies between the different areas, but they mostly feed on ice fish. It's the special kind of fish. They don't have red blood cells and they are really common here in Antarctica. They also populate underwater and their pups is winnet about seven, eight weeks old. And their deepest dive recorded it's 600 meters. That's, that's the way of Vedal Seal Tiff. They are also quite complicated, so it's also adapt adaptation for hunting on big prey. And this one seal, crab eater seal, don't eat crabs. It's, you can say, a little bit joke. They feed mostly on Antarctic krill. Antarctic krill is um, I don't look like shrimp. And it's the the main part in the feeding, ch feeding chain in Antarctica. Almost every animal more or less depend on krill. Their foraging activity is connected with uh, daily vertical migration of krill. Because krill swimming in uh, big flocks and the krill also the krill appear uh, nearer the nearer the surface during the night, so it's really easy to catch them during the night when they are swimming in big flocks. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, they really highly ice pack dependent the same as leopard seal, because they lying on the, on, on the ice pack and they migrating uh, in the place where ice pack is, when you can find ice pack. They are mating probably also occurred in the water. Their pups are winnet about three weeks old and their deepest dive is about 600 meters. Um, here we have really complicated molars. That's the way uh, of hunting for krill. It's uh, it have a rule of filtering the water. When a crab eater catch the krill, the, the main krill stay inside their muzzle, stay inside their mouth, and the water is flowing down. It's a similar adaptation like in huge whales, which they also have some filtering, uh, filtering part of the muzzle. 
This car comes from probably leopard seal because at the first year uh, after parturition, after birth, and they are they are really um, really big and interesting thing for leopard is hunting. About ninety, up, uh, about eighty up to ninety percent of young of the year of juvenile swan uh, is a prey for leopard seal. The uh, next one, the last one, seal, earless seal which you can find on Kieran George Island, is Southern Elephant Seal. They breed on our island in huge groups. And they spend, they spend uh, about 65% of their lives below 100 meters of course, below the water surface. They feed mostly on fish, mostly on lantern fish, as that fish with uh, small bacteria, small organism inside, uh, inside their hmm, inside the water hanging upon their muzzles and they also shining under the water. Some of them um, and the southern elephant seal feed so sleeps. But of course, like everyone here in there are it depends on the season and depends on occurrence of some resources. Here you are, here you have uh, the biggest mammal uh, living on the shore because the biggest mammal here in Antarctica are whales. But this lesson, it's only on it's only about seals. So go, going back to their mating, they create big uh, groups called harem. About uh, October, November, females howl out on the shore. They how loud in groups about 10, 15 females, up to about 100. And the place when they are uh, giving birth to their pups uh, is the place when, where female, alpha bulls, have his territory. Before female came to the breeding site, males <clears throat> competed between each other. And only the alpha could reach that territory. So, the alpha male have about up to then uh, up to 100 uh, of females. And just before uh, pups are winned, it's uh, just before they're three weeks old, uh, the copulation occurs and, uh, and just after about three days of the population, 
females going back to the ocean and the pups stay uh, on the shore and molting and creating the, their muscle and they, they spent after winning something about one or two months on the shore before they going back to to the ocean for first feeding. And this one is really curious because the deepest dive recorded of male of southern elephant seal is more than 2,000 meters. So, uh, probably, they have really strong veins and really strong hearts to avoid that huge pressure on the water. Their teeth are not so complicated. They are pretty simply, and the molars look exactly like pillars and like honeys, what you can see here on the picture. The most, <laughs> the, the most observing uh, behavior on the shore is scratching. Uh, juvenile scratching, young female scratching, old female scratching, and also male. This huge one bulls, but who can reach about five meters long, they also scratch using their pretty small slippers. The, the main reason of scratching all the time when they are on the shore is molting because when they're molt, when they're changing their food, they also changing tiny ooh, 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 tiny tissue on their skin. It's not only fur, it's also the first part of the skin. Right now, you have three minutes to you can ask uh, your question uh, on that, and you can use it. It would be easier for us to communicate. <laughs> 